As data demands skyrocket in AI data center environments, traditional pluggable optical transceivers are reaching their limits, opening the door for co-packaged optics as a faster and more efficient solution. In this video, I break down why pluggable transceivers are falling behind and how co-packaged optics are set to dominate next-generation AI data centers. Modern AI data centers are filled with server racks, tall metal frames housing dozens of powerful servers, switches, and networking components. At the heart of each rack is a switch chip, often mounted on a switchboard. This chip acts like an intelligent traffic controller. It directs data between different servers, GPUs or graphics processing units, and storage units. The following are roles for each component in the rack. The switch chip is the central hub of communication. It receives data packets and decides the fastest path to send them, whether to another server, to GPU clusters running AI computations, or to data storage systems. GPUs are the heavy lifters for AI. They perform thousands of mathematical operations in parallel, making them ideal for training and running large AI models. Storage units are the data vaults. They hold the massive data sets that AI systems need to train, test and generate results. To move data between all these components and between racks across the data center, optical networking is used. This is where optical input, output, I.O. technology comes in. The conventional optical I.O. are pluggable transceivers. For years, data centers have relied on pluggable optical transceivers as the main way to connect servers and switches via fiber optics. These small, removable modules fit into the front panel of a network switch. They convert electrical signals from the switch chip into optical signals for transmission over fiber, and then back into electrical form at the other end. Their effectiveness and their modularity has made them a key building block of modern networking. One of the important aspects of pluggable transceivers are electrical lanes that can be seen at the back of the transceiver used for modulation converting electrical signals to optical signals and vice versa. The image here shows an SFP transceiver with a single electrical lane. Each lane includes a positive line carrying the original signal and a negative line carrying its inverted counterpart, typical for high-speed differential transmission. Additional connections are also present for power supply, grounding and other electrical functions. In higher speed transceivers, multiple electrical lanes are used to divide the total data rate across parallel channels. Think of them as parallel highways for digital information. In some cases, the transceiver's name reflects the number of lanes it supports. A QSF P28 used for 100 gigabit per second has four lanes, each at 25 gigabit per second. An OSFP used for 800 gigabit per second has eight lanes, each at 100 gigabit per second. These lanes connect to conductors that carry signals over just a few centimeters from the switch ASIC to the pluggable, but at these extremely high data rates, even such short distances present significant signal integrity challenges. The signals can degrade because of resistance, crosstalk, interference between adjacent lanes, and power loss. The faster and denser the electrical lanes become, the harder it is to maintain signal integrity. Why electrical lanes are a problem for AI? AI workloads are far more demanding than traditional internet or enterprise traffic. They require massive data flows between GPUs and very low latency to keep computations synchronized. To handle this level of capacity, conventional pluggables would need an excessive number of electrical lanes to split the data rate into manageable speeds per lane, resulting in greater space requirements, higher power consumption, and increased latency from lane skew, synchronization, 
and complex PCB routing. Co-packaged optics, a better way forward for AI. As we've seen, the primary challenge with pluggables is transmitting high data rates from the ASIC to the optics across long connectors. The solution is straightforward. Shorten the connector length from the switch to the optical modules. Co-packaged optics, CPO, does just that by integrating the optical modules directly next to the switch ASIC on the same substrate. Eliminating the long electrical paths that cause so much trouble. In co-packaged optics, the high-speed lanes are reduced to just millimeters, minimizing signal degradation. Less electrical loss means less heat dissipation and power consumption. CPO supports hundreds of terabits per second per switch, far exceeding what pluggables can achieve. They are perfectly suited for large GPU clusters where enormous bandwidth and tight synchronization are essential. The bottom line is that pluggable transceivers will continue to play a vital role in the communications industry for many years to come. However, for AI applications demanding switch capacities exceeding 100 terabits per second, co-packaged optics offers a more effective solution. That said, co-packaged optics comes with its own challenges, chief among them being serviceability and replaceability. While a failed pluggable transceiver can be easily and inexpensively swapped out, a failure in a co-packaged optical system may require replacing the entire and far more costly chipset. If you found this overview of pluggable and co-packaged optics insightful, consider taking your knowledge to the next level by joining our optical networking training sessions. These hands-on courses dive deeper into the technologies shaping next-generation data centers, covering optical transceivers, fiber infrastructure, and emerging trends like co-packaged optics. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified whenever a new video is released. Thank you for watching and goodbye.